is very just a full on day. We have quite a bit of things to get done. Now that book writing season is over, which is so wild, I can't even believe that I finished writing the book and I am so excited for the book to come out. I believe that it's coming out early spring of 2023. So if you want to get on the pre-order, like signups when pre-orders become available, I'll leave a link in the description box. But anyway, first of all, I had a really good morning. That's what I wanted to say too. So if you, again, if you kind of saw my last video or my last couple videos, one thing that I've been doing is I just set this goal, this intention for September to move and to get back into regular consistent exercise and weight training after writing the book. As you know, I really sat a lot of the summer. And again, looking back next time, if I write a book again, I definitely have learned from that and I would shift some things so that I can make sure that I'm prioritizing movement. And there's so much like, <laughs> there's so much to learn, you know? I was just tunnel vision in the zone, morning till night, open the laptop first thing in the morning, don't even close it until it's time to go to bed. I mean, I literally wrote all day long because I didn't want to just write the book and hit the word count. I wanted to do my best and give my best. And so it really was very all consuming and very, 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 just required 110% of my attention, of my focus, of my heart, soul, prayers, mind, everything. Like it was amazing. One of the coolest experiences of my life. And I love it. And I look back on that season with nothing but absolute love and just like a whole new level of <laughs> respect for authors and books and even respect for the book when it comes out because I know what a labor of love that it was and I know how much I needed the strength and the grace of God to get me through that. And I just, I look at the book and I think of how honestly good and faithful and strong that Jesus is. So anyway, that is that. I almost said the name of the book and I'm so excited to say and reveal the name to you. But anyway, so just getting back into movement, it has honestly been such a reminder how powerful just setting a goal is. Just take honestly two minutes and think about what would make you feel really good this week, this month. Think about your schedule and just think what sounds really good, what sounds like an attainable, doable goal, and always cut it in half. So maybe you wanna strength train four times, say two, and you'll be amazed at how well you get it done. So that's what I did and it's been incredible to be reminded just how powerful just having a goal is. Okay, so we're gonna go run errands. So I, and I actually really need to do some stuff on the computer, I need to get a video done, I need to do a voiceover for that, finish making a thumbnail, we're gonna go grocery shopping, I need to get, I'm actually finishing up a video, but then I'm also filming a video. I'm filming a crock pot recipe video, so I don't know if that's gonna go up before or after this, but I need to get that recipe on and in the crock pot. And then while we're grocery shopping and out and about, I have a couple of returns that I need to make, uh, Target, Marshalls. But without further ado, we're gonna go run our errands so we can come back and get our dinner on and in the crock pot. All right, we have a major grocery restock, Costco and Whole Foods grocery haul. So let's get into it. First of all, we have some organic cucumbers. I've been loving making this with some tzatziki sauce and then some organic blueberries. We were really low on fruit, so I wanted to stock up on our fruit and some red seedless grapes, nice and hydrating, very delicious. You will love these golden kiwis. If you've never tried them before, you should definitely try them because they are so, so, so delicious. Definitely don't skip these if you ever see them. They're amazing. And then we got some eggs. These are our favorite eggs, the Vital Farms pasture raised. I know you always see me get them, but I really, really love these eggs in particular. And I've noticed, I've actually paid attention to the yolk color, and they really do have just the most vibrant color if I can't get eggs from the farm. And then picked up some organic Baby Bella mushrooms. These are going to go in our little shepherd's pie tonight. And then some more 
bananas because I just froze all of our bananas for smoothies. So we were out. And then I actually picked up this coconut water this time because it was a little bit better of a deal. So it comes with 12 of them instead of six. You know I love the Harmless Harvest, but I wanted to grab this one this time because they had them in stock. So pink coconut water, if you're looking to try coconut water and you're kind of on the fence about it, or maybe you haven't liked it before, pink coconut water is really good and it's very, very sweet. So next we have our organic chicken broth. I love this. I love having this on hand. Just when I don't have homemade broth, it's just so great because you're going to get those amino acids still. And it's just a great way to make sure that you're really having a protein rich meal and getting in your protein. And speaking of protein, we got some organic chicken tenderloins in here. And then we have our, these are so delicious. These organic bite-sized creamer potatoes. Wow. These are such good potatoes. I love them. So got a little bag of these and then we got some more potatoes because we did our, all of our meal prep. So we ran out of our uh, sweet potatoes. So some organic sweet potatoes and some more onions, some sweet onions, and then kind of a little bit more Costco over there, but Whole Foods really quick right here. This, the Siggies, I think is how you say it. The skirt. I don't know if I even said that right, but this was on sale. So two, two of them together were on sale. And so the vanilla one is really, really good. And then I do like the plain one as well. So this is a great option that is going to be a protein rich yogurt, but it, it's kind of reminds me of Greek, but it's just a less tangy option. So if you're wanting a protein rich yogurt, that's not as tangy as Greek, skirt. I think that's how you say it, is a really, really good option. So I really love this and I love, love this brand so much. So we got that and then we got some organic stew meat for tonight, some salsa, organic orange juice, Costco has been out of organic orange juice for literally months. So usually I get it from there, but we'll try out this Whole Foods one. I've never had this one before, but it's organic orange juice and no pulp. So we'll see how that goes. And then we did get some fresh garlic. I've been going through garlic like crazy. So I just decided to get a whole bag of it from Costco. And then this is really, I mean, I, I we had a lot to get, but this was really one of the biggest reasons why I went because we ran out of our ghee and I mean, clearly we really needed to go. We had a lot of stuff that we had to stock up on, but I was like, Oh, I need to go to Costco. Cause we're out of this. This is the best ghee ever. It is absolutely delicious. I remember before they were in Costco, they were actually on Amazon and it was the best, best, best ghee ever. And so they've been in Costco for a few years now. And this is just a great cooking fat. It's a saturated fat. So it's very stable at high heats and it's just, it's absolutely delicious. The flavor is incredible. And then speaking of Greek yogurt. We did get some more Greek yogurt. I do love Greek yogurt. Again, it's great for tzatziki sauce and um, I love it. I still do love Greek, but this one, I just really prefer this for breakfast. So we got some maple syrup. I really want to make these delicious homemade marshmallows again. And so I wanted to stock up on our maple syrup. So we'll do that very soon. We'll have a fun little fall day and like make marshmallows and all that kind of stuff. And then we got some organic asparagus. We've actually been using um, quite a bit of prosciutto, not a lot, but I've been picking it up occasionally at the store. So I figured I would just grab it from Costco. And that was so fun. The fall meal prep video, we made those delicious pieces or that delicious pizza and use prosciutto for that. So that was really good. And then this is kind of exciting. So they had this new marinara. This is the marinara from Tuscany. I've never seen that before, but it's organic. And I just figured this would be kind of fun to try and do something different from their traditional marinara. So the marinara from Tuscany, we shall see how that goes. And then I've also been using quite a bit of bell peppers in our cooking lately too. So this was such a good deal for some organic bell peppers. So grabbed that. And then these are the best, 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 best ever gluten-free pasta. So the Jovial brand is absolutely a winner. So I grabbed the Fusili, I think is how you say it. The, now, now I'm gonna just really, I don't know how to say this for fall. Yeah, I just don't know. The, we're just gonna go with bow tie pasta, okay? Um, so we grabbed that. And then I haven't tried this one yet. I mean, they're, I mean, it's all 
it's all the same because it's brown rice. I've, I've had this one before, but I just haven't had these shapes before. So I'm excited to try this. And then we got the elbows as well. So really love Jovial. And then I was so happy to see that our Santa coconut flour wraps were on sale at Whole Foods. So I grabbed a couple of them because that was such a great deal because they were on sale. So this is our big old grocery haul, nice and stocked up and everything is ready to be put away. So let's do that right now. Lunch is actually leftovers from yesterday. I'm filming a crock pot video. I don't know if it's gonna be up before or after this, but this is so delicious. And I cannot even believe how convenient <laughs> crock pot meals are. It was so nice to just heat this up and it's ready to go. And it's made with homemade bone broth and chicken and sweet potato. And it's just absolutely delicious. So, and I am having this with a brew doctor clear mind. This is such a good kombucha. And I'm actually gonna eat this outside in the sun so that we can synthesize some vitamin D. So I use the D minder app and this is absolutely amazing. So I'm gonna go out there, I'm gonna, get all the vitamin D that I can and just enjoy my lunch. Oh, by the way, last little thing, I wanted to show you this candle. I absolutely love this. So her name is Allison Martin and her Etsy is amazing. These are the best beeswax non-toxic candles. And she sent me this as a gift with my order. So I ordered a sweet dreams candle so that I could enjoy that by my bedside before I go to bed and just like light a candle. But, and I have the other flavor that I usually keep out here in the kitchen, but she sent me this sweater weather and it's amazing. I don't know why it's not focusing, but she sent me the sweater weather and this smells so unbelievably delicious. It is the epitome of fall, and it's got such a natural, beautiful smell. It really is true to the cinnamon clove and, you know, just the orange peel. It's it's so good. So we found our little candle. If you watch my fall decorating video, this is the perfect size because it's kind of small. So <laughs> I was so happy about that, and I just cannot believe how sweet of a seller that she is. She's so sweet. Let's go eat our lunch. I got my son, I'm so happy about that. I'm trying to get obviously in the green, but today I'm in the green and that's my estimated D blood level. And then the past seven days, I'm finally in the yellow. And so I'm really trying to work on getting it up, but I have been in the green every day. So hopefully my overall numbers will improve. And now I'm actually gonna be making, which is so funny from Growing Strong, my book, I'm gonna be making the chicken uh, immunity boosting soup. returning our little pumpkin cast iron dish. Thank you for your feedback. I know a lot of you said it's so cute, keep it. And a lot of you also were like, I just feel like it's seasonal and you have the other one. And I just, it, I, I returned it. So <laughs> it was so cute though. It seriously was so stinking cute, but I have another one right behind me. I think it's, is it behind me? Yeah, it's behind me. <laughs> so we're just gonna go with that one, but it is really cute. So anyway, 
RIP. But um, I actually, I have a couple zucchinis that are just right on the brink and just don't mind my allergies. Like anyway, it's just, I was talking to my sister about it and she has them too right now. And I don't get allergies, but anyway, I look, looked it up in our area in this time of year. And anyway, it just makes sense. So it's just really, <laughs> anyway, so, okay. I am gonna grate up the zucchini because I'm gonna make some zucchini muffins. So I think I'm gonna do muffins. Yeah, I'm gonna do muffins. I was gonna do a loaf, but I'm gonna do muffins. And cause these are right on the brink, they are barely hanging on by a thread. So I don't want them to go to waste. So we're gonna whip up some zucchini muffins. I think they're gonna be really good. I did wanna say I do make my own gluten-free flour blend. So I don't wanna set this back in the maple syrup, but I do make my own gluten-free flour blend. It's from the Artisan uh, Gluten-Free. I'll leave the book, it's a book, and it, and it teaches you and it has the instructions and the recipe for how to make your own gluten-free flour blend. And then this is actually, I think it was like a cookie jar or something from Anthropology. I got it when we first got married, so I've had it for a really long time, and it's the perfect thing to use to store all my flour because I can make a double batch and then it really just holds it really well and it is so convenient for storing the flour. So anyway, we're gonna whip up some zucchini, delicious carrot, carrot, no, chocolate zucchini, gluten-free little muffins. Is it zucchini muffin? Mm -hmm. They're chocolate. <laughs> really? <laughs> oh, yeah, I know, how funny is that? <laughs> no, it's because I literally made the soup out of it. Mm. So long, silent movies, the quiet dances on the screen. So long, the burning slowly, smelling sweat and kerosene. And all the actors on the stage are rolling cigarettes and whispering so low. these muffins tell me that these do not look like the most incredible I feel like it's not even doing justice the camera these look like coffee shop muffins okay we're gonna have to do a taste test mmm oh okay we need to do another bite mmm wow look at the texture the inside it's so fluffy it is so moist it's not too dense what do you think honest thoughts mm. Mm -hmm. it's really good thank you mm. cleaning dust off of the press box and fixing broken tape machines as you know i'm making a crock pot dinner meal video and I feel like I have maybe food in my teeth but 
I just made this chicken noodle soup from, again, my book, Growing Strong. It's a recipe in there. And it is so good. I cannot even explain to you how good it is. I wish I could actually spoon feed you through the screen so that you could just try this because it is literally absolutely incredible. It's divine. It's so funny. I was going to come in here and, and sit with a cute bed, <laughs> but it's having its weekly uh, wash uh, Sunday night and it's getting all scrubbed and clean. But anyway, I just want to say thank you so much for watching and there's a giveaway. I'm so excited about this giveaway. I love doing giveaways for you and I love even more just giving away stuff that I love and just from people that I love. My friend Kasia makes the most beautiful jewelry. I'm actually wearing this one little necklace right now, but we are giving away and I just took it off right before we went on our walk. I wore this all day. Uh, we are giving away the rings that I wear every single day along with the Sunburst necklace, which is one of her best sellers. And I'm doing a horrible job at showing you this. Okay, let me see if we can get this to flip over. There we go. So this is such a beautiful necklace. I love it. I wear it all of the time. It's so beautiful for layering. And I love all of her pieces. Again, I just love this little one too. And then we're giving away the ring. So we're giving away the hammered square ring and then the huggy ring. And you are going to win these. I'm so excited. So all you have to do to enter, this is kind of a YouTube, Instagram collaboration giveaway because she's on Instagram. So all you have to do is follow her on Instagram and then you're just going to comment on her most recent post. Just comment, so excited for Cambria's giveaway. You can tag me or you can just say, I'm so excited for Cambria's giveaway either way that comment will enter you to win. And then just let me know in the comments right here that you went ahead and left your comment on her page. So it'll take like one second, but this value is, I believe the, the necklace is 72 and they are so high quality. And the ring I think is like 50. And then this ring, is, this is like well over a hundred dollar value of jewelry and the best jewelry ever. Like I literally never take these rings off. I've had them I think I've had them for a year now. I literally have not taken off and I shower with it. I, it is, it, it's amazing. It does not get ruined. It's the best jewelry ever, 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 ever. I love her jewelry and I love, I love all of it. I love her style. I just love it all. It's my style. It's her style. Her style is my style. It's the best. So like literally 90% of my jewelry is literally from Keja. So excited for you to enter and thank you so much for hanging out with me. I am so excited for October. I can't believe that we are in October. I can't believe it's the end. We're nearing the end of the year. I feel like this year went by so fast and I just feel within me kind of this slower rhythm and I'm just craving I'm just craving craving more rhythms. I don't know if that sounds kind of interesting or strange, but the sunrise, we've been going on sunrise walks super early in the morning and we went on a beautiful sunset walk. It was such a gorgeous way to end the evening and really just slowing down and disconnecting and connecting with each other, me and Bo and the people around us. And it's been really nourishing and so healing to my body and my soul. I feel like just being out in creation, it's been really it's just been so good and it's 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 such a reminder that nourishment is not just found on our plates and God created us to be in creation and to be with each other with each other created beings you know and to be connected and in community and it and just even how he created the seasons you know these these rhythmic seasons that we come into and we step into and I feel like when we allow ourselves and our bodies to, you know, enjoy that season and enjoy the fruits of it, you know, just the slower fall. And, you know, it just, it's really sweet. You know, the fruit that comes from that is really sweet just in your life. And that wellness is so much deeper. It's so much deeper than what we eat, what we, I mean, that is just barely even scratching the surface. You know, honestly, I feel like the way that we even approach our plates, you know, no matter what it is, it doesn't even matter what it is. 
when you approach it with joy and thankfulness that you have anything to just bring to your lips that is going to nourish your body in ways that food really never can you know that that joy nourishes us and our cells and are really like words have the power to nourish and I believe that that is so true you know the Bible says that pleasant words are like honeycomb they're sweet to the soul and they're health to the bones and I just hope and pray that this season can be so nourishing for you and just so revitalizing and rejuvenating and refreshing for you and I'm just so excited to spend it with you. I can't wait for sunset walks and hopefully some bonfires. I feel like it'd be so fun to do some beach bonfires and just slower evenings and hangouts and fun times in the kitchen and all those things so i just feel so grateful for you and i'm so excited to just end this year with you it's it's been such a beautiful sweet year of cultivating a lot of stuff that's going to be kind of coming to fruition in the upcoming year with the book and if there's anything i learned this year Patience is something that we have to cultivate as well. You know, the seed is always going to sprout in its timing, but the farmer is the one that has to have patience. It's not necessarily the seed that needs patience. The seed is going to grow. The seed is going to push through that dirt, but it's not that the seed needs patience. It's that the farmer needs patience to have to trust the timing of that seed. And that's just the way, it's so interesting to me that that is the way that God made it. You know, the seed is gonna do its job and we have to do our job in the sense of letting letting things take time. And I like to fast forward, I wanna fast forward, I wanna get there, I wanna like, you know, it, it would be so nice to just like, you know, if we were getting, getting on a plane and then just whoop, fast forward and get to our destination. But it's the in between, it's the, it's the, it's the middle of who we become that I really believe that that's what 2022 has, has taught me at least this far. I know we're only, you know, we're in October. We still have a few more months to go, but it's been a really sweet year and I am excited to see what's to come. And that doesn't mean that it's without challenges and things like that, but Nevertheless, just in a really happy mood. It's been a really beautiful, restful Sunday, and I really hope that you enjoyed this video. If you did, please click thumbs up because it really does help, and I just love you so much, and I will see you very soon in a brand new video. Bye. Aren't you sit beside me and laugh I got the good Yeah.